Let's start. Guys, for the past few months, we've been doing innovations. Last year, you've heard of collaborative innovations. Resilient innovations, on the other hand, is partnering, collaborating with people, with organizations, with technological companies for the past few months, even for the past few years, to give you better options. Everybody say options. Ano ba yung pagpipilian? Monthly or weekly? Ano ba yung pagpipilian? Weekly or daily? Ano ba yung pagpipilian? Daily or real time? Paganda ng paganda ng paganda. Habang sa iba, medyo di mo na alam kung ano nangyayari. Sa easy, sa ing, sa OBI, paganda ng paganda. Habang tumatagal, gumaganda. Habang tumatagal, sumasarap. Habang tumatagal, dumadalit, bumibilis. Now, what are this? What are these features? Last year, we signed an agreement with Stronghold, our stronger partner in offering future insurance products, and with UBX, our fintech partner. Fint UBX is one of the biggest open finance platform. When it comes to financial technology, they're one of the best, if not the best. So we are partnering with them and launching a new service. This is so exciting, guys. Why are we excited with this? With our UBX partnership, for one. Today, when we do banking, when we do banking, may traditional banking, may alternative banking. Right now, the setup of our community, the setup of our business, we have one head office, 11 branches, 120 BCOs, and 3 million distributors here in the Philippines. Now, what if, ano kaya? If we make EC and OVI part of the banking industry. <laughs> in what way? This is not how we view the future. Ang bangko, ang haba ng pila. Mamamasahe ka pa para makapunta sa bangko. Pagkating mo sa bangko, ang haba pa rin ng pila. Di ba? Hindi automated, manual. Okay, may mga delays, delays. What if, according to research in the Philippine technological statistics, there will come a time in the future, every company will be a fintech company financial technology company. And the goal is we will be one of the pioneers, one of the disruptors, one of the game changers, and future proof. Magka-pandemic man uli, ready na tayo. What do we mean by this? Today, we will do banking everywhere. Hindi lang kung saan may banko. Hindi lang sa head office. Hindi lang sa branches, hindi lang sa BCO, but in every distributor and digital partner that we have. Imagine bank transfers. Imagine remittance. Imagine cash in. Imagine bills payment. Imagine ticketing. Imagine insurance. Imagine withdrawals, credit scoring and loans, lahat ng savings and deposit. Imagine lahat ng yan may kita ka. Panalo, panalong panalo. Now I want to focus with this, savings and deposits. For the past 17 years, ang ginagawa natin, leverage on a system for us to make money and to earn. Tama o tama? Yung sistema, naka-leverage para kumita ka. Now, what if yung kita mo, may kita pa? Maganda po ba yun? Yung ki... O, oh, Tagalogin natin, ha? Yung kita mo, kumikita pa. In short, you're making your money work for you. Kahit natutulog ka, yung pera yung nagtatrabaho para sa'yo. Maganda po ba yun? More than what the bank can offer. Yung interest na pwedeng ibigay, ba mas malaki pa sa BDO. 
yung interest na pwedeng ibigay, mas malaki pa sa BDO, pagsamahin mo pa kay Metro Bank, pagsamahin mo pa kay BPI. Malaking interest. All of this, investments, kumikita yung pera mo. Now, the good thing, the, the process is very, very simple. Mula sa'yo, kailangan mo magpadala, dadaan sa distributor, lahat ng mga services na sinabi ko, dadaan sa mga banks, all automated. Earn commissions from every transaction. Introducing, ang tawag natin dito, ladies and gentlemen, is called BIBO. Everybody say BIBO. Bibo. <coughs> May kinalaman din sa resilience yan. Di ba yung mga bata, pagpabibo? Umiiyak na, nagsasayo pa, bibo yan ah. Hindi mo binigid ang laruan, nagpapatawa pa, bibo yan ah. So it's called BIBO app, business in a box, Okay? Business in a box opportunity. Now, the goal is for us to activate this BIBO very, very soon. Okay? It's an app, financial services app, na available sa lahat ng mga distributors. Abangan nyo yan. Kasi pinapaganda ng pinapaganda ng pinapaganda. Now, let me go to my part. Philippines, an archipelago located in Southeast Asia. Ang tawag sa region where the Philippines is located, composed of 7,000 island, is the region of Ring of Fire. Bakit tinawag na Ring of Fire? Every year, guys, ang Philippines nagsasuffer ng around 20 to 30 cyclone typhoons. Out of that, 20 to 30, 8 to 10 will land in the Philippines. Sanay na sanay na tayo sa bagyo. Kaya pag may bagyo, sa ibang bansa, panik na sila. Sa Pilipinas, nagkakaraoke pa. <laughs> tama tama? Not only that, we are a country with more or less 120 volcanoes. 25 to 30 of which are active. Every now and then, may pumuputok na vulkan. Only in the Philippines, naglilikasan na yung mga tao. May iba, nag-iinuman pa. Bayaan mo silang umulis. Bakit? Para solo natin ang beer. <laughs> Habang ang iba natataranta na, we are still having fun. Nagpapatawa pa, nagjo-joke pa, nagsiselfie pa. Naturally, ang Philippines as a country, resilient. Ang Filipinos, hindi nagpaiwan. Bansa nga, resilient eh. Pinoy pa kaya? ba tayo lang. Nasa gitna ng baha, pwedeng mag-inuman. Baha na, nagbo-basketball pa. Bahana, nagpapakasal pa. Bahana, pare, tagay ka muna. Kompleto. Why are we like this? Resiliency is part of our DNA. Good and bad. Good, when I say good, at times, kaya mo yan. Bakit? Resilient tayo eh. Bad, Minsan, laging ginagamit yun. Oh, nasunugan ka lang ha, kaya mo yan. Oh, nanakawang ka lang ha, kaya mo yan. In business. Oh, na-attrition ka lang ha, kaya mo yan. Oh, huminto lang yung leader mo ha, kaya mo yan. Ine-expect lahat kaya mo. Simply because we are in a positive community. Tama o tama? As I've mentioned, good and bad. Now, we have studied some words. May mga bisaya ba on the house? Maghingay naman ng mga bisaya. Oh. There's this Visayan words called puhon-puhon. Nakaka-relate ba? Pag sinabi nila nga, Nanay, yung grades ko mababa. Pasensya na po. Sasabi ng nanay, okay lang yan, tataas din yan. Pohon-pohon. 
sa negosyo natin, nako, wala akong pay-ins. Okay lang yan, darating din ang pay-ins. Pohon-pohon. Pohon-pohon is resiliency in a sense of religiosity, spirituality, and destiny. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung pagiging resilient, may kinalaman sa faith. Everybody say faith. Faith, faith is something that you are expecting without even having a knowledge of its reality. You just completely believe what it's being said and told to you. Now, other than pohon-pohon, meron pang ibang words, like uh, padayon. <coughs> padayon, on the other hand, is resiliency with a sense of purpose or mission. Up, coach, hahataw na ako. Sige, umataw ka na. Padayon. Up, this year, this year, gagalingan ko na. Sige, tuturoan kita. Galingan mo talaga. Padayon lang. When you have a mission, when you have a purpose, It is resiliency with intent. Everybody say intent. Intent means sasadyain mo. Gugustuhin mo. Hindi mo lang gusto, gustong gustong gusto. Coach, magbabago na ako. Gagalingan ko na talaga. Itatama ako na talaga. Padayon lang ba eh. So when you look at resiliency from different angle, there's faith-based, there's purpose-based because you have an intent, and there's the bigger one where it involves a community or an organization which we call magtinabangan. It's bayanihan, tulong-tulong, sama-sama, Sabay, sabay, sabay. Walang maiiwan. Yaman ang pinag-uusapan, walang maiiwan, yes. Bayanihan nga eh, sabay, sabay. It is resiliency to serve and help others in your community. Kahab, a network, a organization, a empire, a hassle, a project, a team, lahat na. And right now, you have your organizations with you. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, magingay naman ng elites dyan. Ito mahimik. Magingay naman ng UDT. Dayon. <clears throat> so when you look at this from many angles, <clears throat> iba-iba pala ang resiliency, yes. From personal belief, from personal intent, from group's perspective, we all want to be resilient. Tama o tama? <laughs> Hindi lang ikaw ang aahon. Gusto mo yung kasama mo sa grupo, aahon din. Gusto mo hindi lang ikaw yung aasenso this year. Pati yung kahaber mo, gusto mo umasenso rin. Maski crossline mo, tinuturuan mo. Why? It's part of being resilient. Hindi lang para sa pangarap mo, kundi sa pangarap ng buong grupo. Some people are asking, Doc, Puro Bisaya yata ah. Ano ba sa Tagalog ang resilient katatagan? Pag sinabing matatag, hindi lang matibay. Pag sinabing batatag, hindi lang matibay dahil walang pinaghahambingan. Matatag ka sa gitna man ng pagsubok. 
matatag ka amidst any challenges. You are strong, you persevere amidst pandemic, amidst challenges, amidst hindrances and obstacles. Yan. Diyan ka nagiging resilient. And those different types of resilience will define us. Those different kinds of resilience defines us, molds us, and moves us forward. This year is the start of the year. This month is the start of the year. Maraming nagsasabi, ang economy shaky. Stock market is down. Forex is down. Even crypto is down. Government is trying to help every now and then. Tapos may business tayo. May business tayo based on resiliency. Gano'n ka ba katatag? One week walang pay-in, quit ka na. One month walang income, quit ka na. Two months, bagsakan check mo, quit ka na. At times, Bago bumagsak, faith is just trying to test you kung hanggang saan ka. Kaya nga puhon-puhon, pagpa sa Diyos mo, you pray for it, you believe it, you have faith on it. Whereas others, sadyain mo, gumising ka ng maaga. Gawin mong intensyon. Padayon. I-technical mo. Galingan mo. Practicein mo. Like what you have heard for the past few hours. Pag hindi ka magaling sa isang bagay, ulit-ulitin mo. Alamin mo yung bali. Itama at itama at itama mo na. Huwag na huwag mong hihintuan. Because I guarantee you, pag hindi ka magaling, sadyain mong ulitin at tinatama mo every now and then, makukuha at makukuha mo yan, gagaling at gagaling at gagaling ka! And when you help others sa grupo, sa hub, sa imperyo, sa project, sa organization mo, Whether you like it or else, God will bless you. There are moments in life, padadaanin ka niya sa hirap. There are moments in life, you will taste difficulties. Malalasahan mo yun. Iuulam mo yun umaga, tanghali, gabi. In the proverbial words of Francis Miguel, discouragement, attrition, we ate that at breakfast. Dadaan at dadaan at dadaan ka dyan. Ask me why. Walang kwenta ang success story mo pag hindi ka nahirapan. Now, this difficulties last year, This difficulties this year, the goal is to empower each and every one of you. Sadyain ang success para sa'yo. Ihulma ang pagkatao mo para sa success mo. I-define kung sino ka, kung handa ka na sa success mo. This year, ladies and gentlemen, Are you ready for your success? Handa ka na ba sa tagumpay mo? Kung handa ka na, tumayo ka! Isigaw mo sa lahat! Padayon! This year will be a momentous year for all of us. Not for one. Not for ten. Not for only a hundred, but for thousands of people in this stadium tonight. All of us, this year, with our dreams, with our intent, with our faith, we believe this year 
is our year. Madayon. 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 Thank you very much.